Greetings. God bless you today. I want to share part two of forget not all his benefits with the subtopic who forgives. Psalm 103 verse three, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Hallelujah. I thank God for all the benefits he has afforded each of us. But I believe this first one mentioned is the most important who forgiveth or continues to forgive. Aren't you glad the Lord is long suffering with us? Hallelujah. Think about this for a moment. What is life if you are never forgiven for the wrong you've done? To have to carry such a burden is unthinkable. Our more immediate need is that we need it and need forgiveness. David conveyed this thought also in Psalm 32 verse one, when he says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Hallelujah. I can almost see David quoting this verse as he was dancing before the Lord. Hallelujah. As he was dancing and glorifying his name. As an example of the precedence of forgiveness, I turn to Mark chapter 2, verse 1 through 12, where Jesus was in a house in Capernaum teaching. The key verses I want to emphasize is chapter 2, verses 2 through 5. And he says, And straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, They uncovered the roof where he was talking about Jesus. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, hallelujah, he said unto the sick of the palsy, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Glory to God. Note this, beloved. Jesus knew the man needed physical healing, but he also knew the more immediate need was the forgiveness of sins. We cry out to God for many things, but the more immediate need is always forgiveness. Today I am blessed, not because I have this or that, but because I am forgiven. Hallelujah. If you have not done so, receive from the Lord's hand the more immediate need. God bless you until next time. Bye now.